Hi everyone, it's Jillian and welcome to my channel and another crochet tutorial. For today's tutorial, we're working on the Granny Sweater Christmas Ornament. This is a free pattern that I found on Yarnspiration. The link would be in the description below. Let's get started. To begin, you're going to put a slip knot on your hook. You're going to chain 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you're going to join to the first stitch with a slip stitch to form a ring. For round 1, you're going to chain 1. And that chain 1 doesn't count as a stitch. Into that same stitch where you made your, sti your slip stitch, you're going to make a single crochet. And you're going to make a single crochet into each of the chains. So that's 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. So this is your chain one. You don't, you're not going to join there. You're going to join to the first single crochet stitch. And you're going to make a slip stitch. And that completes round one. For round two, you're going to chain three. Two and three. Into the same stitch as your slip stitch, you're going to make two double crochets. chain two and make three double crochets into that same stitch you're going to chain one you're going to skip the next single crochet stitch and into the next one you're going to make three double crochets. You're going to make a cluster of three double crochets. Chain one, skip one stitch and into the next stitch you're going to make three double crochets. chain 2 and make 3 more double crochets into the same stitch chain 1 skip 1 and make a cluster of 3 double crochets into the next stitch Chain 1, skip the next stitch and you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain 3. And that is the end of round 2. For round 3 I'm going to switch colors but if you don't want to switch colors like I did here, you just want to make the, the whole jacket in one color, what you're going to do is that you're going to slip stitch into the next two double crochets here, there, and then you're going to slip stitch into the chain two. You're going to chain three and then you're going to continue this um, the pattern like that. But because I'm going to switch colors, I'm going to cut my yarn here. I'm going to fasten off. I'm going to join with a slip stitch into the chain 2 space. I'm going to put a slip knot on my hook. And I'm going to join with a slip stitch into that chain 2 space. I'm 
I'm going to chain three and that's going to count as the double crochet stitch and into that same space I'm going to make two double crochets. Chain two, make three double crochets into that same space. Chain one, working into the chain one, you're gonna make a cluster of three double crochets. Chain one, make another cluster of three double crochets into the next chain one. Chain one, and into the chain two, you're gonna make three double crochets. Chain two, and three more double crochets. Chain two, make and three more double crochets into the chain two. Chain one, and you have two chain one spaces left and into each space you're gonna make a cluster of three double crochets with a chain one in between. So do that and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the round, you're going to chain one and you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And that is the end of round three. For round four, we're going to be working from the wrong side of the work, so we're going to be turning our work. And in round four, we're going to be making the space for the armhole of the sweater. You can also switch colors here if you want to. You can switch colors every round. It's completely up to you. So for round four, we're going to make a, a slip stitch into this chain three. Okay, so you're going to make a slip stitch here. And then you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Into that same space, you're going to put two double crochets. You're going to chain one. Into the next chain one space, you're going to make three a cluster of three double crochets. You're going to chain one and into the next chain one, you're going to repeat by making a cluster of three double crochets. You're going to chain one and you're going to skip over all these stitches, this cluster right here, um, the three double crochets, the chain two and the other set of three double crochets. And you're going to go and you're going to work directly into the next chain one space and you're going to make a cluster of three double crochets. You're going to chain one and you're going to repeat with the remaining stitches so you have two more chain one and then you're going to skip the stitches right here so go ahead and do that and we'll meet back at the end chain one you're going to skip over this cluster right here with the chain two in between and you're going to join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch And I'm going to fasten off here because I'm going to be switching colors for my next round. And as you can see, and I'll flip this to the right side, that you've created the space for the armhole by, by um, skipping over this the chain two space here and the same thing on the other side. For round five you're going to join with a slip stitch in any of the chain one spaces and you're going to join from the right side of the work. So I flip this over to the right side and you join in any chain one space with a slip stitch and you're going to chain three and you're going to make two double crochets into that space Chain one, 
into the next space you're gonna make three double crochets and this is gonna be a repeat your repeat for round five chain one make three double crochets into the next chain one chain one and you're going to repeat you're going to repeat a cluster of three double crochets into each of the chain one spaces until you get to the end of the round and I'll meet you there at the end of the round chain one and join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three and that is the end of round five for round six and seven, you're going to repeat round five. So for round six, you're going to be working once again from the wrong side of the work. So you will turn your work and then you'll start with a slip stitch into the chain one and then you'll make chain, you'll do a chain three and then two double crochets into the same space and continue making clusters of three double crochets into each one of the chain space. And then for round seven, you, you will flip your work back again to the right side and continue making clusters of three double crochets into each of the chain one space. So go ahead and complete the next two rounds and I'll meet you back here for round eight. At the end, you're gonna chain one and join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And I'm going to fasten off here because I'm gonna switch color for the eight round. And that is the end of round seven. For round eight, you're gonna be working from the right side of the pattern. So if you, you're not switching colors, you would just keep on. You're not gonna turn your work um, like we did in some of the rounds where we had to turn our work to the wrong side. We're just gonna keep on working from the right side. So because I'm switching colors, I'm going to, I'm going to join with a standing single crochet stitch in any of the chain one spaces. So I'm gonna put a slip knot on my hook for a standing single crochet and I'm gonna go into the chain one space. I'm gonna pull up a loop and I have two loops on my hook. I'm gonna wrap my hook and pull through both loops for my standing single crochet. I'm gonna make one single crochet into the next three stitches, into the next three double crochets. And into the chain one, I'm gonna make a single crochet. And this is your stitch repeat for this for round eight. So into the next stitch, make a single crochet into the next three stitches. And make a single crochet into the chain one. And you're just gonna repeat that all the way around until you get to the end and I'll meet you there. At the end of the round, you're going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet stitch. I'm going to fasten off here. And I'm going to use an invisible join. So I'm just going to go into that first single crochet stitch and over to the back loop of the last single crochet stitch that I made. Okay, and you just try to make it look as even to the other stitch as possible. And then you're gonna go ahead and sew in whatever ends you have left. So that is the sweater portion of the ornament. So next we're gonna make the, the sleeves and those are pretty easy. This is a pretty easy pattern. I know that it looks a little intimidating at first, but you can see that it's very easy to make. For round one of the sleeve, you're going to join into the chain two space. There's a chain two space here and one on the other side. And you can join in any side that you like. You're going to join with a slip stitch. You're going to chain three. Into that space, you're going to make two double crochets. chain one you're gonna skip 
the three double crochets here and into the space into the next space you're going to make a cluster of three double crochets you're going to chain one I'm just going to move this tail end out of the way and I turn my work and now you're going to be working into the chain space here so I turn my work so that the other unworked side of the sleeve is facing me if that helps so now into that space you're going to make a cluster of three double crochets it's a big it's a bit of an awkward position but you can do it so that's one two and three and you're going to chain one and you're going to join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch and that's round one of the sleeve completed for rounds two three and four i'm going to work a little bit different than what the pattern calls for i'm just going to be working from the right side of the work and i'm not going to be turning and working from the wrong side so because I'm going to keep with the same color for the next round of the sleeve, I'm going to slip stitch into the next two double crochets and into the chain one space. If you were switching colors here, you will just fasten off and join with a slip stitch into any of the chain one. So I'm going to slip stitch into the next two stitches and I'm going to slip stitch into the chain one. I'm going to chain three and make two double crochets into the chain one chain one and into the next chain one I'm going to make a cluster of three double crochets chain one into the next chain one a cluster of three double crochets I'm going to chain one and I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three and I'm going to fasten off here in switch colors for the next round For round three of the arm, I'm going or the sleeve, I'm gonna join with a slip stitch into any of the chain one, and I'm working from the right side. I'm gonna chain three and make two double crochets into the chain one. Chain one. So for round three and four, you're gonna repeat round two. So now you know what to do if you're switching colors and if you're not switching colors. So go ahead and repeat those two rounds. I will meet back here for round five. At the end, you're going to chain one and you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three. The chain three. And I'm going to fasten up here and for round five, I'm going to switch colors. For round five, I'm going to join with a standing single crochet. I'm going to put a slip knot on my hook and I'm going to join in any of the chain one spaces. Pull up a loop and you have two loops on your hook and you're going to pull through both loops on your hook. You're going to make a single crochet into the next three double crochets. And you're going to make a single crochet into the chain one and you're going to repeat this sequence all the way around single crochet into the next 
three stitches. And single crochet into the chain one, single crochet into the next three stitches, and at the end, you're going to fasten off here. You're going to make an invisible join. And you're going to go ahead and sew in your tail ends. So now you're going to go ahead and you're going to make the, the next sleeve and the next arm exactly this way and we'll meet back here. You should have both of the sleeves completed and this is what your pattern should look like. And here I made it in just one color and I choose a different color here. And you can just play around with the colors and you can do pretty much whatever you want. It's meant to be whimsical so have fun with it. To hang it you can just um, cut um, a piece of yarn the same color as the, the neck. And you can just go in to and I go in both sides like that. And I just make a knot. Or maybe if you want to use some sort of ribbon, be a little bit more fancy like that. And that way it's ready to hang on your tree. You can cut off the top. Okay. And now it's ready for hanging on your Christmas tree. Alright, that is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Please like and subscribe for more video tutorials and I'll see you in the next video.